Here we go. The four car of uh, Daniel Wright leading the pace. The chocolate rocket, Cookie Thompson not keeping pace. We're going green. Here we go. Uh, at least four wide. I'm not so sure. Somebody hit the infield tractor tire. Kind of knocked in a nudge there a little bit. And he's going to stop inside of turn two. The inferior tractor tire getting hit by uh, one of the cars going into turn one and two. I'm not sure if they got a lap and not. Let's go green. Let's go racing here. <laughs> the 21 and the four. Side by side, the four of Daniel Wright will have it, but not completely clear for Ricky Weaver. Ricky Weaver out of Hanover, Pennsylvania there. Here comes the four of McGrew. Here comes the 65 of Wyndham. I think this is going to have to go through those two guys if you want to win this race. Absolutely. Some pushing, some shoving, and some beautiful sliding up high. These front, we, these forward wheel drive cars. Oh, man. Look at this. Three wide. Some power move. Pushing the nitro button to try and get into the lead. Oh, they bump. They hit. They go up high. This is Bedlam. Uh, Wyndham picked up four. I picked up three spots on that, that race, that lap there. And he took the race lead. Oh, Wyndham. car up into the wall. Heavy, heavy that's, damage. That's the four of Daniel Wright. Got a couple more sideways back in the pack, but we're still green. Keep it going. No one has spun or is facing the opposite direction. We're coming to 12 DO here. Cookie Thompson hitting the wall, coming to the front stretch. Actually, I was looking at your top front. I didn't see it, but I seen him come across the racetrack. Luckily, he didn't get collected, come across the racetrack. They'll check on him really quick, make sure Cookie is okay. That Wyndham, your race leader. McGrew running in second. The 21 of Weaver running in third. They are all running up high to the wall, and you see how far that cushion has been pushed all the way up to that wall. Now it's a legit cushion right here as Wyndham will hold steady as the leader. Eddie McGrew out in second. You see some battling. That's happening for, I believe, the sixth position between the 15 of Kenneth Kolf. First battle on track back there around fifth or sixth. Yeah, Kolf trying oh, to make the move. Almost out. loses oh, it. Oh, keeps oh, it going oh, straight. Oh, and oh. what a save. <laughs> he wrecked three times but never hit anything. And as they go down the front stretch, I think there's some bad blood between these two. You're right. Wallace has some smoke coming from behind the car. And again, Leofar gets pushed up high. And I think that's the 0-5 of Jamie Kelly, actually, with that smoke. Kelly and oh, Leofar. Duking it out over oh, there. Oh, man. They're not happy with each other at all. But there is that damage in front to Wallace. Smoke coming out of every car. What am I? What am I to say? White flag, though, is naturally in the air for Wyndham, who's going to look to get that fourth all-time win here in the Dirt Vision Hornet Division. He's going to cross the line four-time, Wyndham. Sweeping the weekend in your feature events, how good just was this car to be able to do this? Uh, tonight it was real good. It, uh, you know, we were able to keep it off the rev limiter a pretty good bit, and it was handling real good. When you came into the weekend, did you think doubling down and winning both features was in the cards, or, or what are what are the thoughts on that? I mean, we were just going to try our best, you know, and uh, try not to tear anything up too bad. But uh, I want to thank my sponsors, my family and friends. I got uh, Jason Waters Tuning right there, um, Kenny Privet with Hide and Seek Towing, Nippon Racing, uh, Kebs Rod and Customs, uh, John Wyndham Racing Engines, Honda of Lake City. Brian Crower. Zach Sloan took the win last night in that one. Green flag. Well, Sloan said, why are you guys waiting to get going? Let me just jump up and take first away. I don't know if it's going to stay. But he slides all the way up, and they're three wide. They get crunched up in the back. And we're still going green. The 14 car started seventh. He was leading in lap two. They are three and four off the race lead. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Crunching in the middle. It's Sloan. Sloan started fifth. He went to first. He went to seventh. Now he's back to, I don't know what he is. Now there's a spinner in the infield. Three wide for the lead. My goodness. This is unbelievable action right now. The 48 car of Newman Press now slides all the way up. 
up right into the path of the speedy car right behind him. Look at this beautiful drone shot we've got. This is how intense this action is. Just sit back and watch the drone shot if you're watching home on Dirt Vision. I can't even hardly explain it. It's three Ooh. wide per second. I can tell you that. I feel like I'm playing the World of Outlaws video game in chase cam right now. This is fantastic. Oh, almost spins the man out. Newman Seth Smith in the 243, that black with blue numbers, just wiggling all over in three and four, loses some ground. Sloan says, thank you very much. I'll check out the zone, the, uh, the uh, drone coverage. He's trying to keep up with Zach Sloan. He looks, he's the inside of Zach Sloan. The drone takes the spot. No, he's kidding. Me. <laughs> oh, Zach Sloan's in the wall. He said, if I get passed by a drone, I'm just going to call it an out. Zach Sloan has pulled in. <laughs> Mighty well here tonight. He got a slow car to navigate around. Oh, big, oh fire. big fire! Big fire! Big fire! Big fire! Big fire! Big Ignited fire! Ignited like wild. Slow down, get out of the car. That's what he's gonna try and do while it's moving. He's out of it. Give him a hand. Give him a hand if you understand. Give him a hand. Goodness around 11 or 12 cars still remaining on track. This is lap nine of 15. Away goes Newman Press now with the lead. He held a five second advantage. Will it go right back to that? We shall see. A pass for second. CJ LeVere has to deal with Wayne Taylor going underneath him all down the back stretch. Newman Press now once again motoring away, making it look easy. Wayne Taylor is up to second. It don't look like anybody's got any challenge for the 48 car of Newman Prez now. That is a sharp looking little race car. I think that's some type of Honda, I do believe, and that thing is really fast as he just continues to motor away from the rest of the field. It's all one, one of the features last night. And you know what? He won two before that. It's a theme that we're seeing four time winners this weekend with the Dirt Vision Hornets. White flag in the air, one to go. And it looks like if everything holds close, everything holds dearly for Presnell, he is going to be one of the men, the drivers in that four timers club. How about this? Newman Presnell, four time Dirt Vision Hornet winner. Newman Presnell getting a confetti bath. And you know what, he's coming becoming pretty familiar with these confetti baskets. I knew we had a chance at it. Just need to keep the car clean and stay out of trouble and just make the right moves at the right time. And uh, everything just happened so quick early in the race. And I was able to just go ahead and get to the front. And once I got up there, I was able to just keep a good pace and stay smooth and consistent and just was able to go on with it. And uh, yeah, it feels good. This is uh, four races here, four wins. And uh, it feels pretty good. Green flag about to come into the air. It's time. Hornet feature number three. And look at that run by the 74. Sliding right in front of him and coming down. Crunch, spin. Many cars involved. We just went five wide. Five wide at the start right there. Cars getting a little bit loosey-goosey. They're all good and they're all fine. Chris Harvell started 19th. He's battling for fourth on lap number one. We got one around. Spinner, and they didn't touch. Can we keep going? Can we keep it green? Let's see. Can the car get ignited and started yellow? BP Racing Fuels PowerPoint says we are good to go. The 35 of D's has a few car lengths of an advantage there. And flying around the outside, it looks like Dan Benson. Dan Benson, I know it was uh, Lexter Speedway regulars. Dig one up there with uh, Brad McManus. Here comes Harvell to the inside in the 95 car. Dan Benson has some speed, and Chris Harvell gets in the third. Cal D's is not sitting pretty right now if he's in first. Maybe it's gonna last for a few more seconds. A big bump from Dan Benson going into turn three. And we got one slow down the back stretch. Not sure if that's gonna bring out a caution or not. KLD should race later. And he's gonna take the lead going into turn three. 
Benson slides up though, and Caldez is gonna come down to the bottom and retake the lead. They're side by side to the line, the lead. Wow, I don't even know who had that by 22 thousandths of a second. Benson led at the line. They are still side by side. While they're side to side, they'll allow Chris Harvell to climb into this mix. This caution is gonna fly. That car on the back is just a little bit too close for comfort. All stacking up right behind Dan Benson, but he says, let's go into turn one. Benson with the lead. Dees goes down low. Harvell has the high line, has speed down the back stretch. Not enough to necessarily get a move done back there. They all take the high line around three and four. White flag in the air, the final white flag of the 2022 World Short Track Championship here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Dan Benson's got two lap cars. If he can safely oh, up the boy. That was a little too dramatic for anybody's liking. But nonetheless, Dan Benson will round turn four. Over 400 competitors. He's the last winner here at the World Short Track Championship. Dan Benson gets his first Dirt Vision Hornet feature win. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even have words for it. I'm so excited. Uh, we pushed really hard all year long. Uh, we we planned for this trip a long time ago, and I'm just so thrilled that it came out to be like this. So I'm just I'm just blessed, and I'm happy to be here. You mentioned, of course, everything kind of building up to this moment. Take me through those last couple laps, knowing that the checkered flag is coming, and you get to end your season kind of here in victory lane. Yeah, I knew I had some big dogs behind me, so I couldn't tell how far they were. But my nerves got worse and worse as they went on. Uh, but I just try to keep my cool, keep my line, and just have at it. Congratulations. Thank you.